Insect specimens provide the basis for taxonomic and systematic research, assessing biodiversity, monitoring environmental changes, and pest control. A variety of equipments and methods have been developed to collect nocturnal and diurnal, aquatic and terrestrial, flying and soil insect specimens. Some insects require active collecting, while others are collected passively by traps, lures, or flight interception devices. Here are some commonly used active collecting methods. Equipment required for processing or temporary storage of insect specimens include forceps, brush, aspirator, water tray, killing jars, specimen jars, and triangular envelopes, and waiter or water boots for aquatic insects, as well as headlamps for nocturnal insects. The easiest way is to pick up insects by hand or with a pair of forceps and place or chase them into the specimen jar or bottle. However, one can do better with additional equipments such as a net or an aspirator. Here are some approaches for active collecting. 1. Insect Net Collecting nets come in three basic forms, aerial, sweeping, and aquatic. The first two are designed to collect terrestrial insects, while the third one is for aquatic insects. All are available on the market or can be made at home. An insect net includes a cloth or nylon bag a metal rim, and a wooden or metal handle. Bag and rim sizes vary. Polyester or nylon net is more durable, and the mesh size can be changed for different purposes. Handle lengths can vary too, to suit different needs. The depth of the bag, however, must be able to accommodate folding of the bag over the rim. Aerial Net An aerial net is used to collect flying or perched insects. It has a relatively light handle. A bag often made of light and soft nylon to boost the collector's agility and keep the specimen intact. A larger mesh size to reduce air resistance and help visually confirm the position of the trapped insect in the bag. And a stronger, larger rim for larger insects such as butterflies and dragonflies. Or a smaller one for smaller insects like bees and flies. To collect insects, Firmly hold the handle with both hands. Point and swing the opening at targets following a shallow figure eight pattern. Gently fold the bag to drape its lower half over the rim to prevent escape. Check the insects inside the bag. Hold the bag with one hand and use the other to place the specimen jar or killing jar into the bag and chase insects into it. For a butterfly, simply reach inside the bag to grab its thorax with your fingers, remove it from the net, and place it inside the triangular envelope. For wasps and bees, watch out for the sting. Wasps and bees tend to stay upward. Hold the net so the opening faces downwards. It is easy to chase bees at the topmost point into the specimen jar. Sweep Net A sweep net is used to collect insects from grass and thick vegetation. 
The collector moves back and forth while sweeping to collect insects at random. A sweep net has a shorter handle. The handle and the rim should be strong but light. Its bag is mostly made of canvas or muslin cloth. Use strong quick sweeps to generate sufficient airflow and successfully sweep insects. Do not sweep for too long to avoid collecting too many insects in the bag, which may damage specimens or the bag. Finally, forcibly swing the net several times in the air to let all insects and plant material gather at the bottom. Then, hold the bottom of the bag and turn the bag inside out to quickly stuff everything inside the killing jar and fasten the cover. Aquatic Net an aquatic net is used exclusively for collecting insects underwater or on the surface. The handle cannot be too long, about 100 to 150 centimeters in length. Strong handle, bag, and rim are required. The heavy-duty bag need not to be overly deep. Round, square, and triangular metal rims are all available. To collect aquatic insects, place the net among the waterside plants with the handle facing up. Hold the handle tightly with the opening in the forward position and walk along the bank dragging the net to sweep in insects in the plants or extend the bag down to the bottom of water and walk along the bank dragging the net to collect benthic insects. If waiter is available, one can get into water directly and drag the net along the bank. After collecting specimens in the net, pour everything into a tray. Pick out insects with forceps or aspirator and place them in the specimen jar. 2. Beating Many insects forage and rest in grasses, bushes, or trees, and are hard to find. Some of them feign death by dropping off the plant when it is jarred slightly. As such, beating is a good way to collect these insects. Required devices include a stick or a handle of an insect net for jarring the plant, a beating sheet made of rough cloth, and two pieces of bamboo or light wood of the same length as the diagonals of the cloth. The beading sheet, preferably white or light color, is generally sold at a frame of 60 centimeters square. Two pieces of bamboo or wood crossing each other are fitted into pockets at each corner of the cloth. Holding the crisscrossing bamboo or wooden sticks in your hands accordingly forms a tray to carry the insects. Hold the stick in one hand to beat branches and leaves. Hold the intersecting point of the bamboo in the other hand to collect falling insects. A light-colored umbrella can also be used as a beating sheet. Open the umbrella and place it upside down to collect falling insects. Insect specimens falling onto the beading sheet are picked up by hands, forceps, or brush and placed in the specimen jar. 3. Aspirator Through its suction action, an aspirator collects tiny insects such as ants and springtails that are difficult to hold with fingers, particularly if you want to keep them alive. An aspirator consists of a glass or transparent plastic vial, a rubber stopper or cork with two holes, two glass tubing, 
a flexible rubber or plastic tube, and a small piece of fine gauze. First, insert a J-shaped fine glass tubing into the rubber stopper. Then, take another straight fine glass tubing with the opening at one end wrapped with gauze and insert it into the rubber stopper to prevent the collector from inhaling the insects. Connect the other end to a rubber tube of a preferred length. You may put a glass tubing on the other end of the rubber tube as a nozzle to take in insects. If choking smells are a concern, connect a rubber ball to the glass tubing nozzle and suck in insects by squeezing the rubber ball. Finally, insert the rubber stopper into the vial to complete the assembly. Another type of aspirator has two openings, each with a stopper with a fine glass tubing inserted. When collecting, place the free end of the flexible rubber tube or the glass nozzle in your mouth. Move the end of the J-shaped glass tubing close to the target insect and inhale sharply to pull the insect into the vial. After collecting a certain number of specimens, open the stopper and pour them out of the vial into the specimen jar. After collection is completed, bring the specimens back to the laboratory for further preparation.